Good afternoon, welcome back to our homestead. Just a quick update on DR Power and why I chose the mowing back from AgriFab. Now, I have no affiliation with this company. They didn't send this to me and I paid full price for it from Home Depot. So back in early November, I had placed an order with DR Power for one of their mowing back systems almost exactly like this. And I can't remember, I think it was right around $1,800, $1,900, about the same as this one. I was really excited to get something from DR Power because I've heard of their quality, I've seen the commercials since I was a kid, and my buddy over at Pete Bee's Homesteading, his YouTube channel, he's got one as well, and he's had it for years, and he loves it. I haven't heard anything bad about the quality of the products, but the company has got some serious, serious issues. So after placing the order in mid-November, they gave me a shipping date of, I think it was 20 to 30 days, which is a little long, but no big deal. So 20 days passed, 30 days passed, and still no indication that my product was shipping. So I reached out to them on email and I didn't get a response. So about a week after that, getting closer to Christmas, I reached out on the phone and said, hey, what's the deal? And they said, very sorry, we're waiting for some parts to come in for the unit itself, and it should ship out in the next week. And you'll see an authorization on your credit card that that is the case. A few days later, I saw the authorization, so I was excited. Okay, this thing's gonna ship, and I should plan on being around at this time at this date, roughly, for the shipment to be received. Well, then I noticed that the pre-authorization on my credit card, the pending amount, disappeared, which was strange because they didn't go and move into me being charged for it. It just completely disappeared. I called the company back after that week expired. I said, where is my mowing vac or my whatever they call it? I can't even remember. The leaf vacuum. And they said, so sorry again. Uh, we're still waiting for the parts, and it should ship out in the next week and a half. I said, okay, this is getting a little odd. The pre-authorization was there, and it disappeared. She said, okay, sometimes that happens. I said, okay, no problem. I know your products are assembled in the United States. Some of the parts are made in the United States, but you rely on parts from overseas. She said, we're having trouble with one of our suppliers. I said, okay, I get it. It's today's environment, things are taking a little longer. You got parts coming from overseas, almost everybody does, so not a problem. She said, it'll be out in a week. I said, okay. She said, on this date. Gave me a specific date. I said, okay, because I'm going on a trip. I don't want it to ship while I'm not here. You know, I was in Florida. And she said, no problem, it'll be here on this date, two days after you get back from Florida. Awesome, perfect timing. Time goes on, I get another pre-authorization on my credit card, and then it, that disappears again. I said, okay, what's going on here? When I was in Florida, I was contacted and left a message on my phone by DR Power. Said, so sorry, um, your product is not shipping out. I got on the phone, I said, sir, what is going on with the product? Well, we're still waiting for parts, he tells me. I said, look, this has happened back and forth three or four times. You're still waiting for parts, yet you've pre-authorized it three times now, I think it was, and then rescinded that pre-authorization or that pre-charge on my credit card. When is my product going to ship? He said, two to six weeks. At this point, I'm done. I said, cancel the order. There is no way I'm buying this product from you. Have you sold any products from DR? in the last two and a half, now almost possibly three months. Have you sold anything to anybody? Is your company going under? What am I to expect here? I don't know, cancel the product or cancel the order. I got so fed up with that company, I just canceled everything. I'm not gonna ever spend my money with them ever on anything. And I don't want you to do it either because they played with me for over two months only to tell me at the very end that my product, which was supposed to be there at my house in just a few days before I made the phone call, that it would take another two to six weeks. That is horrible, horrible business practices. You cannot run a company like that. I don't care what you're waiting for from overseas. Figure it out. 
you don't string somebody along for, then it would have been over three months for a product. When I saw my buddy Pete B, I was at his house and he had this cool thing and it was easy to get all these leaves and make soil and all this stuff. I was like, oh wow, cool. That is way easier than raking it. I was happy and content to rake for six years, to wait and save my money. And to wait for a company that I had revered for their quality equipment and to have this terrible customer service uh, experience was just awful. Don't buy from them. The same company owns Generac, and Generac are supposed to be great generators, but in the last couple of years, I've heard how their quality has fallen off as well. I don't know, maybe they're outsourcing too many parts to China, maybe they're not doing their own engineering in-house, but buying you know Chinese engineered engines or whatever it is. I don't know, but it's gotten out of control. And I'm here to say, don't. Don't touch that company with a 10-foot pole. Even the customer service reps for as nice as they were, they were very apologetic. They understood in our conversations the problems their own company is having. They're telling me, yes sir, sorry, we hear this all the time, and this has been going on for a while, and all of that. They were great. Even the, the uh, lady told me that she would email me updates, which she did, individually, because the company wasn't sending out updates from whatever uh, other entity that they're supposed to send out order updates from. That wasn't even happening. So she personally had to take time out, out of her day for one customer, I don't know how many customers they have, to email me about updates. That's ridiculous. The company's falling apart internally, in my opinion. So AgriFab it is. AgriFab is partially made in the United States. It's assembled in the United States and it's got some Chinese parts on it just like the DR power. We'll see how it holds up over the years. I saw one YouTube video of a gentleman who's used his for 12 years, although he did have to make some personal repairs to it, like uh, welding some of the metal back on the, the bottom portion of the cart and something with the axle, some other things, but he's kept it going for that long. That's pretty impressive. All right, enough ranting. I do have a link for this for Amazon down in the description below if you want to check it out. Engine started up first pull as soon as I put fluids in it. If you want, check it out. Have a beautiful blessed day. See you next time. Bye.